Rybakina, Sabalenka Ivaneta Sedic in Aussie Open Final, Melbourne, Australia, AP, Irina Sabalenka has taken the second set 6-3 over Elena Rybakina to give each a set in the final of the Australian Open Final on Saturday at Rod Laver Arena. Rybakina won the first set 6-4, Melbourne, Australia, AP, Irina Sabalenka won her first Grand Slam title by coming back to beat Elena Rybakina 4-6, 6-3, 6-4 in the Australian Open women's final Saturday. The 24-year-old Sabalenka, who is from Belarus, was appearing in her first major final. She improved to 11-0 in 2023, and the only set she has dropped all season was the opener on Saturday against Wimbledon champion Rybakina. But Sabalenka turned things around with an aggressive style that resulted in 51 winners, 20 more than her opponent. She used 17 aces to overcome seven double faults. And she managed to break the big serving Rybakina three times, the last coming for a 4-3 lead in the third set that she never relinquished. Still, Sabalenka needed to work for the championship while serving in what would be the last game, double faulting on her initial match point and requiring three more to close things out. When Rybakina sent a forehand long to cap the final after nearly two and a half hours, Sabalenka dropped to her back on the court and stayed down for a bit, covering her face as her eyes welled with tears. Sabalenka is a powerful player whose most glowing strength was also her most glaring shortfall, her serve. Long capable of hammering aces, she also had a well-known problem with double faulting, leading the tour in that category last year with nearly 400, including more than 20 apiece in some matches. After much prodding from her team, she finally agreed to undergo an overhaul of her serving mechanics last August. That, along with a commitment to trying to stay calm in the most high-pressure moments, is really paying off now. Sabalenka was 0-3 in Grand Slam semifinals until eliminating Magda Lynette in Melbourne. Now Sabalenka has done one better and will rise to number two in the rankings. As seagulls were squawking loudly while flying overhead at Rod Laver Arena, Rybakina and Sabalenka traded booming serves. Rybakina's fastest arrived at 121 miles per hour, 195 kilometers per hour, Sabalenka's at 119 miles per hour, 192 kilometers per hour. They traded zooming ground strokes from the baseline, often untouchable, resulting in winner after winner. The key statistic, ultimately, was this, Sabalenka accumulated 13 breakpoints, Rybakina 7. And although Sabalenka converted just a trio of them, that was enough, and the constant pressure she managed to apply during Rybakina's service games had to take a toll. Sabalenka had been broken just six times in 55 service games through the course of these two weeks, an average of once per match. It took Rybakina fewer than 10 minutes of action and all of two receiving games to get the measure of things and lead 2 to 1, helped by getting back one serve that arrived at 117 miles per hour, 189 kilometers per hour. A few games later, Sabalenka returned the favor, also putting her racket on one of Rybakina's offerings at that same speed. Then, when Sabalenka grooved a down-the-line backhand passing winner to grab her first break and pull even at four-all, she looked at her coach and fitness coach in the stands, raised a fist and shouted. In the next game, though, Sabalenka gave that right back, double-faulting twice, including on break point, to give Rybakina a 5-4 edge. This time, Sabalenka again turned toward her entourage, but with a sigh and an eye roll and arms extended, as if to say, can you believe it? Soon after, Rybakina held out love to own that set. Sabalenka changed the momentum right from the get-go in the second set. Aggressively attacking, she broke to go up 3-1, held for 4-1 and eventually served it out, fittingly, with an ace, on a second serve, no less. Sabalenka acknowledged ahead of time that she expected to be nervous. Which makes perfect sense, this was the most important match of her career to date. And if those jitters were evident ever so briefly early, she double faulted on the evening's very first point, and appeared to be resurfacing as the end neared, Sabalenka controlled them well enough to finish the job. Underscore 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 AP Tennis
https colon slash slash apnews.com slash hub slash tennis and https colon slash slash twitter.com slash ap underscore sports Howard Fendrich, the Associated Press.